Here comes the Tower of Power, Dijak. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Dijak. Dijak's a monster. A mercenary, ready to decimate any competitor. I wouldn't limit Dijak's destruction to who's in front of him. He's out here taking people out from all angles. Yeah, Dijak's throwing bullseyes on anybody he chooses. I personally hope the next target's on you, Saxton. Underneath the scowling face and immense stature, Dijak has an incredible intellect. It's also what makes him so dangerous. The anger that fuels him is compounded by his in-ring IQ. It is time for the Don to make that money. And his opponent, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 240 pounds, Tony D'Angelo. The Don of WWE says he's all about tradition. Yeah, I'm not sure how legal that tradition is. Well, D'Angelo has already developed quite the family in NXT, amassing success and winning titles. But now the question is, can he keep focused and succeed in all of WWE? Well, he better, because there's always competition to unseat the Don. Gentlemen, feast your eyes on the six foot seven, 270 pound tower of power known as Dijak. Take notice of a man with intense discipline and even more intense physicality. Yes, Dijak is certainly impressive. There's no telling how Dijak is going to obtain a victory in this one, but we know that's what he's come here for. Get ready for an eyeful. And we'll see if he's ready to take on the nefarious Tony D'Angelo. Nefarious, Saxton. Tony D just commands respect in the ring, and his opponent better show it to him if he wants to get out of this match with all his limbs still attached. Taken out with a big exploder. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. Elbow drop. Piercing. Tony D'Angelo hyping up the crowd. Hoist their opponent all the way up. Just holding their opponent there. That's a 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000. They can go all night. Oh, I know nice. you count that high, Saxton. Shut up, Corey. Side. The fight could get very dangerous out at ringside now. And Dijak is really fired up. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. And a nice takedown. We know Tony D'Angelo is a temper and is not afraid to unleash that on his opponents without remorse. Yeah, Cole, but we've seen how Tony D's quickness to anger can backfire on him. If you can stifle his offense for long enough, Tony's temper is going to boil over and he's bound to slip up. And Lux Simpson is just tossed without regard. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Falcon Arrow suplex. He's got him down. Is this it? This could be a tipping point in this match. And D'Angelo telling the crowd to watch him. Drop. Planning on what to do next. Face first. And that's got to just 
disrupt Tony's focus. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Looking to take flight here. Launching through the air and connects. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Whoa. Boom, oh. a knee right to the face. <laughs> Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. And Dijak got bottled up there. Whoa. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Here. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Oh, kick right to the gut. So ruthless. That might be it. He gets the shoulder up in two. He really thought that was it. Look at this. Just stomp after stomp after stomp. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Well-scouted reversal there. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Goes into the pin. Fending off a two count there. He's not even close to being done yet. Oh, man, he has fired up now. Crippling attack on the knee. Dijak is... Dijak applies the grip. We're going for a run. Justice has been served from Dijak. Makes a cover. What an incredible win for Dijak. Here is your winner, Dijak. Tony D'Angelo denied victory here tonight. We just witnessed a methodical thrashing from Dijak. We should be bowing to the display of power we just saw.